Welcome back to the tutorial series in which I'm showing you how to put your Star Wars Old Republic character into Battlefront 2. So, we have the model done, we have the weapon done. Everything's pretty much there for the mod except for your character's audio, and that is what we're going to be doing in this section of the tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to get the audio out of Star Wars Old Republic. So there's a link in the description for all these things we're going to use. I think we're using Easy MYP, FUBAR, Audacity, and, you know, just various other things. I'm going to just show you how to get it. Uh, importing it, I've already made a tutorial for how to mod audio and import audio. Um, and so I'm going to link that in the description as well. And you should watch that one because I feel like I'd be repeating myself if I did that step. Anyway, what you want to do after you've downloaded Easy MYP is you're going to open up the folder here. We're going to go to easymyp.exe. It's going to load up the hash list that was included in your download. Uh, so first things first, I think we need to set an extraction folder. So you're going to go File, Select, Extraction Folder. I have set up a folder called Star Wars Field Public Extract. Right, not in Audio Mods, it is in my desktop. So here it is. So I'm just going to click OK. So we want to go Open Archive. And then we want to navigate to a specific folder, which is here. So I think it's in your C drive, whatever it is. Yeah, C drive, programs, and then Electric Arts, Bioware, Old Republic, Assets. And then here's where we're going to get a lot of these .tor files, which is what we want. So for your character's audio, you'll find audio in everything for your character that has this ENUS section. Uh, the ones I've found that are the most useful are miscellaneous. So for your actual character, this is the one we're going to use. Uh, you could also use these two things here. I think these are all expansions. Uh, so if you wanted specifically lines from Knights of the Fallen Empire or Knights of the Eternal Throne, there you go. Uh, but we're just going to take the miscellaneous options here, and we're going to open that up. And then it's going to put us in here for this. I'll put it here for us. <laughs> We're going to open it up. Go to, that, go to the BNK2. Right click it. Hit extract. And it's going to put it in our extraction folder for us. So let's just navigate to our extraction folder. And then we can get into this uh, BN2K thing. So I have also included these quick BMS thing. Oh, what did I just do? Did I just accidentally? Okay. I did not mean to do that at all. <laughs> Okay, and it didn't work actually, so I might have messed things up. We're going to go ahead and check my extraction folder real quick. Yeah, click it, so to extract, okay. Oh, okay. No, I had that clicked instead of BNK2, so we just extract all of that. There we go. So yeah, when you have your quick BMS, this is where I, where I put it. Uh, you'll see it in the, the, the Reddit link description thing of all these programs. You're going to want to put this inside of this folder here. So my character is the Bounty Hunter. So I'm just going to delete everything that isn't uh, my Bounty Hunter speaking. So we're just going to need Combat Bounty Hunter. Delete everything else. We need... The generic lines for the bounty hunter male, not a female, and we need the space combat lines, which are right here. So we got those three. Those are the only three we need for now. Okay, then we can open up Quick BMS. It's going to open up a command prompt thing, which I'm not going to put a blank out or something because I don't know what this is actually showing you. Okay, it's going to ask you to select the BMS script, which you just go back into your folder, click convert.bms, and then it's going to act, ask you to input things, and then that is going to be these three files right here. I'm going to click open, wants you to save them, and I'm just going to save them right back in this SOTOR extract folder. Save that right there. Hit enter to close. And boom, now we've got all of this. 
So I have a program called Fubar, and I believe it has an add-on to listen to these uh, WEM, WEM files. And I will link all of that in the description as well for you, and I would recommend you get that, because then you can just play this directly and convert it in Fubar. All right, so I've opened it up, and we can just play it. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah! So the idea is that you just kind of go through each file and think, do I want this? <laughs> just laughing. Yeah. Laughing. We can just scroll through and kind of take our pick. Kissing sounds. <laughs> sure. Sure. So then we just rename this to Sure. And then we do this for like 150 lines, you know, things that he might say in the actual game that we want him to say. I've actually already done this for my bounty hunter because I made a different skin for him before, and so I did his audio for him separately. And so I've, I've included this. And basically what you'd want to do is you'd put lines that he would say for is, uh, see, this is his concussion rocket ability, so he'll say, here goes nothing. I'm not going to play that stuff. Here goes nothing. One for the record books. I make my own luck. Yep, so then you just do that. And in the audio importing tutorial that you'll see, I've kind of explained how to do this template stuff uh, as well. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Now that you've got your audio, you can sort it. And you can go watch the import the Adamon audio tutorial to figure out how to import all of that stuff. I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, and we will see you in the next one where we'll be covering a lot of the UI things, like the text, the star cards, the ability icons, and whatnot. So, see you then.